Right now, somewhere beyond the orbit of Mars, a 73 trillion pound object is slicing through space at over 124,000 miles per hour. And it's not from here. Astronomers call it 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected. But every new piece of data suggests it doesn't behave like anything nature should be capable of creating. When scientists first spotted it, they assumed it was another dusty ice ball, a faint smudge with a weak tail forming in the darkness, just another comet drifting through our system, or so they thought. Before we continue with this space mystery, please subscribe and like the video. It'll really helps the algorithm reach more people who are fascinated by space mysteries, updates, and discoveries. What astronomers discovered next shattered decades of assumptions about interstellar objects. The first shock came fast. The light scattering off its halo showed extreme negative polarization, a signature so unnatural that it doesn't match any known comet, asteroid, or debris in our solar system. In other words, the way sunlight reflects off this thing is physically impossible for regular cosmic dust. Worse still, its trajectory isn't random. 3I Atlas is gliding within just 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, the flat sheet where every planet orbits the sun. Interstellar objects don't do that. They come in wild, tilted paths, crashing through our system at strange angles before leaving forever. But this one? It moves with the planets, not through them. It even passed Mars at an angle so exact, the odds of it happening naturally are less than one in a million. Then came a detail that pushed even NASA's experts past the edge of coincidence. During the U.S. government shutdown, as 3I Atlas made its closest approach to Mars, NASA's live data feeds quietly went offline. The official reason? Server synchronization maintenance. The timing? Perfectly aligned with the moment the object entered Mars' orbital corridor. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb one of the first scientists to suggest that Oumuamua might be artificial, publicly admitted there's a 30 to 40% chance 3I Atlas isn't natural at all. If this object is technological, Loeb said, it could be observing us. And here's the terrifying part. Based on its path, 3I Atlas approached from a zone of space where any intelligent observers could have detected Earth's transits across the Sun the same way we discover exoplanets. Whoever, or whatever sent it, knew exactly where to look. If you think that's strange, buckle up, because 3I Atlas breaks seven different rules of astrophysics. The first is its mass, at roughly 73 trillion pounds, 6 million times heavier than SpaceX's Starship. It's way too big for an interstellar traveler. Space between stars is empty. It doesn't have enough material density to fling something this massive across light years without tearing it apart. Yet here it is, intact and accelerating. Second, it's outgassing behavior. Most comets spew gas and dust as they heat up, creating tiny bursts that shove them off course. But this one? Its trajectory doesn't change at all. Despite the jets, it moves with eerie precision, as if its exhaust is perfectly symmetrical or controlled. Third, the composition problem. Spectroscopic data from Mars orbiters found traces of cyanide and carbon monoxide, typical comet ingredients, but also a spectral fingerprint that looks disturbingly Martian. The gases around 3I Atlas match conditions near planetary surfaces, not the frozen voids where comets form. Fourth, the polarization anomaly. Light bouncing off the object produces an extreme negative polarization of 2.77% at a phase angle of 6.4 degrain. Translation, the dust surrounding it behaves like no other material known to exist. It's as if the grains are engineered, irregular, jagged, or containing compounds we've never encountered. Fifth, the orbital alignment. Its path doesn't just align with the solar plane, it also times its encounters perfectly. It grazed Mars in October 2025, it'll pass near Jupiter on March 16, 2026, and at every step, it seems to be targeting planets for observation. Sixth, the solar storm test. In late September, a coronal mass ejection slammed directly into 3I Atlas. Any natural comet would have fractured. Instead, it shrugged it off. No tail flare, no structural breakup, just a calm, glowing envelope expanding like it absorbed the blast. Seventh, the signal silence. 
During the blackout, radio telescopes picked up low-frequency pulses from the Mars region, three tones separated by the exact same harmonic ratio, 137, found in Atlas's early radar echoes. The odds? Astronomically low. Put together, these seven anomalies paint one conclusion. 3i Atlas isn't just odd, it's engineered. Here's where it gets truly unnerving. Loeb and his team noticed that 3i Atlas's incoming vector originated from the exact direction where an intelligent civilization could have seen Earth's transit. That means whoever sent it, if anyone did, has been watching our planet for potentially thousands of years. The 5-degree inclination isn't random, it's the perfect observational path. From that narrow corridor, you can watch every planet pass its star, measure their atmospheres, and even detect biosignatures. The alignment alone doesn't prove intent, but the timing does. 3i, Atlas, arrived just as Mars's fleet of orbiters and rovers, ExoMars, Mars Express, MRO, Perseverance, were perfectly positioned to catch it. It's as if the object waited for humanity to have its eyes turned toward the red planet. The pattern continues. Its next encounter will be with Jupiter, close enough that the planet's magnetic field might pick up any active transmission. And there's one more coincidence too sharp to ignore. The ESA JUICE mission, designed to study Jupiter's moons, just happens to be aligned for a potential intercept when Atlas passes by in late 2025. Is it luck? Or choreography? If 3i Atlas was designed to study us, its trajectory is flawless. It enters from the transit corridor, skirts the inner planets, pings Mars, grazes Jupiter for a magnetosphere scan, and exits along a line that will take it back into the interstellar void, a complete solar system sweep. Executed with machine-like precision, even its mass distribution makes sense for a probe. A dense shielded core surrounded by a diffusing gas halo, stealth cloaked as a comet, and its resistance to solar radiation, that's exactly what you'd expect from advanced materials built to endure centuries between stars. Loeb himself hinted at the possibility. If an intelligent species wanted to disguise a probe, the easiest camouflage would be to make it look like a comet but just slightly wrong. That's exactly what 3i Atlas is. Almost a comet, but not quite. By October, independent astronomers were calling it the Black Swan of Astronomy, an event so unlikely it forces science to rewrite its rules. Every test, every spectral readout, every image drags this object deeper into impossible territory, and yet the official tone from NASA remains muted, as if silence can make the questions go away. During the blackout, however, ESA data filled in the gaps, and it only made things worse. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter's high-resolution cameras captured a structured glow around Atlas, pulses of brightness repeating at exact intervals, synchronized with the object's rotation. That's not dust behavior, that's modulation. Scientists ran simulations, no natural explanation fit. Then, during a radio sweep, one European array picked up a faint, low-frequency hum at precisely the same period. Whether it's signal interference or something more deliberate, no one can say. Meanwhile, new size estimates grew absurd. What started as a few hundred feet across now measures closer to three miles wide, with a nucleus bigger than the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Combine that with its velocity, over 150,000 mpiage near the sun and you have an object carrying enough kinetic energy to wipe out an entire planet. If it's natural, it's a cosmic monster. If it's not, it's something else entirely. Even mainstream scientists are uneasy. One by one, journals are quietly publishing anomaly summaries that admit no current comet model fits. Some whisper that Atlas may be our first confirmed extraterrestrial artifact. The truth is simple. This object doesn't act like rock, ice, or gas. It acts like design. As of now, 3i Atlas is speeding inward, past Mars, toward the Sun, on a course that will bring it within 167 million miles of Earth by December 19, 2025. After that, it'll slingshot back into the darkness, and we may never see it again. The European JUICE mission will be our last real chance to study it. If its instruments can detect a solid core, metallic elements, or artificial reflectivity patterns, we'll have confirmation, one way or another. But if the object changes course, even slightly, all bets are off. And here's the nightmare scenario. If 3i Atlas was deliberately sent, then this encounter wasn't random. It was scheduled. A long-planned flyby timed for when our technology could finally notice. 
a test of awareness, a message that says, we know you're watching now. By the end of the year, its signals, optical, radio, and magnetic will fade beyond our reach. But deep space antennas are already recording something strange, a low frequency hum buried in the cosmic background, synchronized with Atlas's last transmission cycle. It's faint, steady, and global. NASA hasn't commented, Harvard hasn't either, but leaked telemetry from ESA shows one last line of data before the feed cut out. Sync complete. The same phrase from a 1977 Voyager signal known as Burst 9. What happens next is anyone's guess. Maybe it was just another cosmic visitor, maybe it was a probe, or maybe it was something older, something watching, waiting, measuring. Whatever it was, it left us changed. Mars glowed blue for a night, Earth's magnetosphere pulsed in rhythm, and the hum beneath our world still hasn't stopped. So when you look up at the stars tonight, remember, interstellar space isn't empty, it's full of watchers, and one of them just said hello. Based on everything we've just uncovered, do you believe 3 i Atlas is a natural anomaly, or is it our first confirmed encounter with an extraterrestrial probe? Let us know your answer in the comments below. And if this investigation left you questioning what's really out there, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss what we uncover next.